So now, let us assume we ask you to draw the bolt. Now we're going to use this bolt head, which we drew pre previously, for our nut. So what happens is that, how did I get these lines? It's by, from the circle, which is the, out, the threads outside there, I draw the dark line up to that distance. Now anything above that, they are not threads. The threads is where the two lines are. Why is it just a single line there? It's because they are not threads. Whereas here, two lines, two lines. So the outer part or outer diameter of the thread is here. That's the depth. Outer part coming in and that's the depth. All right. So I did project that line and I projected this line. All right. Then I went to this side. I projected that line, which is where the line just below that. And then another line which comes right down. So that's how I got these two lines. Okay. Now, assuming that this is where it stops. Assuming that this is where it stops. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to construct a line showing that this is where it stops. It stops here. Now, I'm going to use the internal part. It stops here. That's the stop. Right, so it will be chamfered using a 45 degree set square. It will be chamfered using the 45 degree set square. And it starts from the inside line to the outside line. That's 45 degrees. Now, here also on top, it starts at the inside of the line at 45 degrees. And that's how it is chamfered. Now here, likewise, it starts from the outside, for, rather from the inside of the line, it goes 45 degrees. And that's your chamfer. Likewise, here on top, it starts from the inside of the line, it goes 45 degrees. That indicates the end of your threads. So basically, if I may, uh, after completing this, I will draw it in a much bigger scale so that you all can see as to what is it that I am talking about. So, this will be your construction of your bolt. So, this area alone is where the threads are, whereas here they are no threads. Now, let's draw this in a much, much, much bigger version. Assuming that this is what we're looking for, line one, then assuming that, I'm going to draw this and say, that's where it's going to end. I'm going to draw it light at first, and then assuming that that's where it's going to end. Uh, all right, at first I'm constructing them light, and then I'm saying this is where it ends. All right, so now, what we need is, the threads that dip in so this is the threads right I'm do it like this on the other side and this is the thread now if you watch carefully look at the distances look at the distance now it is drawn in a much bigger scale 